It's been absolutely an incredible number of years. And when I sit back and say 1997, and here we are, it is an incredible testament to these two people and their drive, determination, and dedication to uplift the circus, not only in this community, but in the nation and internationally. There was an incredible void. Uh, there was no living circus in Sarasota that truly represented the circus arts at the highest level. So Dolly and I really wanted to bring back the living circus to Sarasota because of course we have the John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art which represents the past, the history. So we wanted to present the present and the future. In 1997, we incorporated as the National Circus School of Performing Arts, and later we changed the name to Circus Sarasota. The idea was to have a professional circus school. We soon realized we had the cart before the horse. And uh, we didn't know enough about being a non-for-profit organization. We didn't know enough about true education. And, but what we did know was performance. So we changed the name to Circus Sarasota, we had bought a used big top, a one ring big top, set it up where Sam's now is uh, on Fruitful and Cattlemen. Well, that was the beginning, that was the start. It's grown tremendously from what they originally had aspired to create, and it's very exciting to know that they have a lot more that they want to do with it. Uh, we have an incredible vision for who we are and where we want to go. We are going to build out that campus to house an incredible training facility, additional training facility, uh, have new administrative buildings. Yeah, we, it's, we want to impact the circus arts community at the utmost. Dolly and Pedro, they are uh, champions for our industry. It's not just Pedro and I. It is an army of volunteers and uh, employees that uh, put their heart and soul and believe in what we're doing, because without them, we wouldn't be where we are. And I have to give such credit to all of our employees and volunteers that believe in us and believe in what we do. Our employees have been here six years, eight years, 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, you know, it's, it's, we're a family. We're very fortunate and proud to be able to say that we are partnering with the Smithsonian for the 2017 Folklife Festival. Our Big Top will be on the mall in Washington, D.C. in 2017. This will be the first time that the circus arts are actually being presented as a program by Smithsonian. To be able to represent the circus arts along with many other artists and, and uh, tell the world about how wonderful this uh, industry is and to have it shown in the light in Washington, D.C. on the mall is it's incredible.